Hello everyone and thank you for tuning into my channel. So I will be giving a reading today for Cancerians. This is for Cancer Energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for mid-December 2019. Keep in mind it is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. If not, please look into your other signs as well as Venus if I didn't say that. So this is for Cancers are Cancerian, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? Or if you're dealing with a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to be looking at um, the current energies, obstacles, goals, what needs to be awakened, what sits behind you, um, your next step and what will it be and then we will also be looking at your persons as well okay so I hope you all are doing wonderful today let's just get started here we're going to be looking at the current energies now whether this is you or your partner I go for this it would be you and this would be your partner but if um, however the energies work with you is the way it will resonate okay so this is what's crossing you and um, we're going to be looking at your goals as well as your partner's goals or your person's okay um, we are also going to be what needs to be awakened needs to be awakened. What sits behind you? What sits behind your person? And we're going to be looking at um, the next stage. The next stage with your partner. And the outcome. What, what will be now keep in mind the outcome can change. On the bottom of the deck we have the King of Cups. This is um, Cancer Energy, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, this is someone who is very loving, very caring. This is a water sign. This is someone who has mastered their emotions. Someone who is definitely um, all about love and wanting to find love, about soulmate energy, finding that sense of fulfillment with emotions expressing one's feelings freely and it's all about love here and about communicating it as well okay wow so there's definitely someone could be coming in or someone has their eye on you mm -hmm. they could be rushing right on in wanting to express their love to you it could definitely be a soulmate oh my gosh we have the six of cups okay let's get started cancers okay I love you guys because you know it's um, a lot of water and I got a lot of water in my chart too but I don't have any planets in cancer no I don't so cancer is about where you belong you know it's a sense of belonging um, Okay, let's see your current energies, and we are going to look at the obstacles. Okay, so your current energies are, you have the Nine of Wands. So you're holding on here, you have this sense of stability, you have a sense of um, wanting to give up okay because it's like oh my gosh i've been you know it's I've, i'm seeing this card and i'm i'm relating to it you know it's like i've been through so much you know all this i feel like we've been through so many fights here you know you're telling yourself we've been through so much but i'm still holding on to this i still want some sort of partnership you could be dealing with a fire sign um, you could have definitely some ups and downs with this um, two of wands. This is about finding stability. This is also about partnership. I'm also seeing cancer energy here 
with the sun so there's a masculine and feminine energy um, especially with the wand so your obstacles here are to balance out your um, your stance your guard and how you um, it's like telling you to preserve yourself you know um, balance balance it out you know it's like you're almost to this completion you know you've almost made a completion so in order to get through this completion you are having to see the sun within the darkness okay so you're having to see the sun see the light where it doesn't shine basically <laughs> so um, and it's like you know it's to take action with oneself with you personally um, cancer energy because I feel like with you and your partner you have you've had some ups and downs and there has been a lot of action that you have taken you could be dealing with a Sagittarius here but it's like um, I feel like the phases of the moon here it's definitely affecting y'all's relationship in some sort of fashion in some sort of way um, so we have a lot of intuition here even if we were to add the nine 10, 11, this is about balancing out and this is about justice, it's about Libra, this is about love. It could be that you are in some sort of karmic situation or you're needing to balance out the masculine and the feminine energy that are surrounding you, okay? Let's look at your partners. Okay, so you could be dealing with a fire sign, or they could be on the cups of Capricorn, Sagittarius, okay, um, Sagittarius, Capricorn, whatever the reason, I feel like, um, if this is, if they're not a Capricorn, this is someone who is, um, it's like they want to make an offer to you, but they have a lot of codependency majors here. Not only is it codependency, I feel like they have a lot of lust, a lot of love. They could be some sort of sex addict or sex fiend, I want to say. Um, I feel like there's a lot of lust, a lusty energy here with the king of wands and the devil. I feel like what they want to offer you is very um, intriguing by the looks of it, but once you get in it, okay after about a couple of months you're like what did I get myself into you know and that is what you could be um, and you're like what did I get myself into especially with the two of wands here and the nine of wands is like ooh, I've got to balance this energy out you know this individual here you could be dealing with the um, Leo Capricorn um, Sagittarius Aries a lot of lust, a lot of lustful energies here, okay? It's like this, they have a lot of lust energies for you and they definitely are, you know, um, letting you know that, you know, they're, they're letting you know how they feel, they're letting you know they're taking action, they want to seduce you, they want to, they, they, they look at you, um, and, not only in with the mind's eye, I mean, it's like lust, very lustful energy. So we're going to look at um, your goals as well as your partner's goals. So your goals are the emperor. So this would be a fire sign energy. This is also Aries. Um, this is about stability. This is about, you know, um, having a completion making a completion you know it's like um you are your stance you're standing strong in your beliefs in your will you are very um co-creative here cancer um you could be dealing with an aries as well but your goals are to um you know make some rules here set some ground rules here okay with this Aries energy or this fire sign energy or this very lustful energy that is wanting to seek you out <clears throat> so let's see their goals okay um, they want to communicate to you 
um, Sagittarius energy. They want to move. They want action. They want to communicate. They could be traveling overseas. I feel like, you know, they they want to um, persuade you in some kind of way um, so that you would move towards them. Or maybe it is that you guys want this individual I'm seeing, I'm feeling like they want to meet up with you somewhere. I don't know where. It's like, you know, they, um, maybe you guys are going to travel somewhere together or maybe he's going to make an offer so that you and him can meet up or vice versa. You know, there's some sort of action that this person wants to take with you and they really feel like free, you know, like, um, like they're flying through the sky, you know, they really feel free with you. And it's like you're saying, look, this is how it's going to be. Either it's going to be like this or boom, there's a completion, you know. There is an ending here. I'm wanting some sort of stability. That's what you're saying, Cancer, to this ambitious. I mean, they're very ambitious. They're very intriguing. Um, it's like when you look at, at this person, like when you look in their eyes, they, you get lost, okay. And... Um, it's almost like, you know, they're very seductive and um, they just, they have a sense of persuading you and other people as well. Okay, so what action needs to be taken here? Okay, so something is going to be received. Either you are going to receive it from an individual or, you know, um, this is saying, this is that Taurus energy, so it's like, it's pointing down I feel like, you know, it's pointing down to earthly energies. For some reason, I feel like, is it your turn? Is it their turn? Someone is about to receive something. And I feel like, are you going to accept this offer that is being given to you? And I feel like either, you know, like... There's a hand right here as well. So there's two hands right here. And these hands are about... And, you know, these signs as well. It's like a strong stance. You have the strong stance. And I feel like whatever it is that's being given to you or what you are handing over um, to this individual, it will be taken. I feel like... You know, you might want some sort of completion with this. Um, let's see. Okay, so this is Aquarius energy here now. This is about conflict. I want to say this is about self-victory for oneself. Um, this is like, you know, I'm taking my time. And I'm doing what I want to do. And this is how it's going to be. This is all mental. This is someone who is within their mind. Um, this is... I, I'm seeing this as, as more of a, a, a conflict. Yeah, and this is what needs to be awakened. It's either that, you know... It's like, you need to set some boundaries up here with this person, especially with, you know, how it is. It's like, they want get, to get over on you, or, you know, it's like, maybe you're, you're giving to this individual, or it's all about their ego here. I'm sensing, like, it's all about their ego, and self-will, and uh, how they do it. You know, it's, it's, it's all about them. It's all about their ambition because we have, we have like a, a transformation here, but let's see what lies in the past. Okay, so this, it would be somewhat of a karmic cycle here in this energy, what lies in the past here. So there is a completion. Okay, this is what you're doing, Cancer. Um, you, or this could be you or your other person, I don't know however this resonates with you, but I'm seeing that you have awakened to a situation with the world card here. This signifies um, a completion of success. Now, you could have been through a divorce and um, 
you could be receiving some sort of financial okay um, yeah you could be receiving something financial from your from this person okay or this is someone who or you could be definitely going to going through a divorce as well but I'm really seeing it as they're going through a divorce or and they're they just you know they're either holding on to their money or they're not wanting to give up um, they're not wanting to move they're not wanting to um, give it's like half and half you know this is about balancing things out again this is about balancing things out and I feel like this person is all about you know it's like what goes around comes around what goes around comes around and you're like saying no this is it this is a completion you know um, I feel like you're the one who's calling all the shots here um, and you are going to be the one giving to this person and this person feels as though as you know they've been deceived um, and I feel like this person is very manipulative as well. Um, they can be very manipulative in how they speak to you. I feel like they could be holding off, um, knowing what they want, but why is this person so closed off? I feel like this person is somewhat bipolar. And I don't mean to laugh about that if, you know, any of you guys are bipolar out there. You know, so I am, so just, you know, whatever. Anyways, um, like I said, it's like this person here that you're dealing with cancer is, you know, they're holding on to something. Let's see. And look, he's showing you, I have this. I have some sort of stability here. And I'm, I'm wanting to make an offer to you, but it's like they're being very manipulative about how much they give you. And... I feel a sense that you have completed something in the past, okay? And um, so you're, and that's what you're saying. Look, either this is who you're completing it with, or you will complete it with this individual. There will be a completion. Not only will there be a completion, but there is a sense of finding balance within this completion with this person, okay? Now, this could be another person that you had just left or got out of a relationship with. And, you know, you're still trying to stand strong here behind a partnership. But this person here could be very manipulative about how they mm, attract people. Or, you know, there's something here about this individual that seems very um, off balance. So, um, let's see, this, we have the Judgment card here, so this is the card that's going to represent the, your next step, okay, um, and this is, wow, so it, it looks like there's going to be, like, a resurrection here, like, a second chance, you know, for you and this person to come together, they could either, there's, you could be receiving some sort of communication, okay, but they're not telling you the whole story, they're being very manipulative about how it is they speak to you. And I feel like whether you left someone in the past or you left this person in the past, I feel like they're coming back around. Yeah, so this is um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is someone who is law enforcement, someone who is um, a, very, a very strict individual, someone who sets the rules who um, goes by the book, okay, very intellectual, very, very smart, um, and very knowledgeable as well. This is someone who likes to study, someone who likes to get down to the problem, okay. Um, this is also someone who makes bold decisions, and they, they really judge people somewhat, okay. Um, but it's only for the highest good as well. But I'm seeing... Like here, this is your goal, you know, and their next step is to make a decision. Now this, whether it is to be with you or, you know, to, I feel like whatever it is, they're not telling you the whole thing. Now, whether it is that there's someone that 
they're wanting to cut out of their life. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, so the next step is the chariot. This is Cancer Energy, number seven. Um, and this is the Mystic Seven, you know. This is um, this spread here. It really shows what's up with you and a partner. There is positive. There is negative. There is yin and yang. There is a masculine and a feminine energy here with Cancer Energy. But it's about moving in the right direction, taking action, okay? Um, leaving behind what no longer serves you. Or whether it is to... Um, there's a sense of manipulation as well to manipulate the situation so it can go your way as well or their way um let's see on the bottom whatever energies these are cancer it is definitely speaking to me like this individual is going to make a decision to move closer to you i feel like this could definitely be a soulmate and um, are you guys were married one time? Had a family, possibly? Yeah, strong energy is coming through here for you and this individual. Like I said, there is very lustful energies. You're like, oh my gosh, I can't do this no more. But for some reason, there's a lot of movement here, a lot of movement behind um, a completion and someone who was being very greedy. And not only greedy, it was like. Um, you know, yeah, someone who is holding off, you know, there was some sort of completion here, some sort of ending, um, and now it's like you called the shots here and, you know, they either want to communicate with you or there is a sense of traveling, okay? You guys could live, you know, across, um, seas as well. You could be going on a vacation together. I feel like um, there's a lot of kid. There's now you could be receiving something, but it's like, what are you receiving? It's like you're not for sure what it is. Um, this individual is definitely going to make a decision here. I feel like there's communication on the horizon, okay? They could definitely be traveling to you, Cancer. Okay, please like, share, subscribe. Um, this is a mini, a mini reading. I will be doing extended readings in the future, but for now, this is what it is. Thank you.